What's going on guys? Today we're looking at skateboard protective gear, but why? Photographing and filming more activities in more interesting places takes energy and strength, but where is that coming from? Skateboarding is providing all of that for me, and it might for you too. While being insanely fun, as a 40 year old, getting hurt really needs to be minimalized. And wearing good safety gear is the surefirenest way to get the job done. Let's begin, as the title says, by comparing the entry level pads from two of the most recognized companies out there. We're going to be focusing on the ProTech versus 187 Killer pads. Both companies have entry level and pro level stuff. We're focusing on the entry level. So while they look really similar, there are quite a number of differences, and we'll look at those. A full set of six pads has knee, elbow, and wrist guards. Besides the obvious cap difference on the elbow pads, is there any real difference between these guys? Or is it just flat out worth it to spend an extra $20 for the 187s, no question? The answers may shock you. While this video is not sponsored, I did reach out to 187 Killer Pads to get you guys 10% off at 187killerpads.com with the promo code SQUID10 at checkout. Besides the cap difference previously mentioned, they look similar. But when you start to touch them, you can feel there's an extra sturdiness to the fabric itself, with extra stitching lines in some spots and a slightly more industrial Velcro. The last conspicuousness is the extra foam in the bodies of the 187s, which, wow, they are stiff. I can feel you guys being like, okay, the 187s are better, thanks, bye, roll credits. But hang on, we're going to take a closer look at each pad with a real world assessment, where you might see these apparent flaws in ProTech as welcome conveniences, and their counterparts as maybe not for you, even with their apparent embodiment of incredible sensationality. The 187's knee and elbow pads do have these cushion sections coming out from the caps to protect more of the real estate of the bones near the joints, and they're super firm, obviously making them a bit bulkier. There is a nice little hugging sensation around the kneecap, which is nice, but the 187's are in a fixed position and do not flex or fully extend, making standing straight or walking at all murder on the shins. Your options are to walk like an ADAT or restrap them around your calves sideways or backwards. The Protex have more articulation, letting you stand straighter and walk easier. They're also a bit cooler because there's less fabric and cushion, but they do have a tendency to slip and need to be pulled back into place. Even if these do end up slipping, I don't mind the trade-off for a more relaxed ability of the pads. We still have wrist guards to look at, so don't go anywhere. But when it comes to the entry-level knee and elbow pads, I recommend both ProTech and 187. The 187s keep me super safe flying around the park and trying to mess with obstacles. ProTechs let me have chill sessions in parking lots and doing low impact, slower, practicing kind of stuff. No cap, the ProTechs are worth it. I even bought a brand new set of them. The ProTech wrist guards for being almost identical aesthetically are hands down no competition to the 187s for three reasons. Primarily, the leather material used on the 187s is some proprietary stuff that doesn't stretch out the same as the materials that have been used on all wrist guards since the dawn of time. Usually this section stretches out pretty quick and the front splint will constantly fall out on like day one or two, whereas the 187s have stayed taut for months and still look new-ish. Secondarily, the stitching is way better on the 187s. The final reason the 187 wrist guards are so much better is the back splint is a half inch shorter than the typical wrist guard splint. This makes them so much more comfortable. You wouldn't notice till you wore them, but the extra space is so much better. By the time I was going to skate parks, these guys were on their last legs. I knew I had to upgrade to better pads for the park. And that being said, pads do break down, and you'll have to replace them anyway. So getting something you won't need till it's disintegrated makes very little sense. Get what's right for you. When this all started about three years ago, I went to Spot and bought the ProTech entry-level pads, which were just the pads on the wall. So I said, give me the pads on the wall. They've lasted three years total. The wrist guards only lasted about a year and a half. It wasn't until about two months ago that one of the caps popped off of the elbow pad. Uh, so even more of a testament to how well these held up, 
I always wash these in the pool with me. I jump in the pool and I take them off and squish them around. So that's chlorine water, which kills metals, which the grommets are metal, and it kills polymers, which the rest of it's pretty much all polymers. Uh, and then I hang them in the sun, which kills metals and polymers after they've been wet, especially with chlorine. I don't even rinse them off with fresh water after that. Point is, is that even with all of that abuse, and I mean absolute abuse, they lasted a long time. Protec is a fine company, and if that's what you already own, or if that's all you have access to, that's great. Wear that gear, it will keep you safe. But if you haven't bought something, maybe you wanna look at some other options. To recap, the 187 wrist guards are way better, hands down. But for the knee and elbow pads, it comes down to you being honest about what you're going to be doing. If you're just starting out and need to learn to push and tic-tac and not going to be flying around skate parks or down stair sets anytime soon, Protec might be your new sweetie for a more casual ride. If you're gonna start out a little more gung-ho or you've graduated to skate parks and are ready to start taking some harder falls, 187s are your new partner in crime. If you're going for it and totally ready to just start jumping off a of crap, you might wanna check out the Pro Level Gear, which we happen to be covering in an upcoming installment of this series. Keep an eye out for that. But next episode, we'll be checking out some photo editing concepts. Then we're going to be looking at some pre ollie skateboard tricks for the absolute beginner. All of that and more will be happening right here on Squid Shot. Remember to unniche yourself and do more. Give it a shot, a Squid Shot.